All right, well, good morning, guys. Um, our call to worship this morning is from John 4, 24. It says, God is spirit, and his worshipers must worship in the spirit and the truth. Um, so kind of the theme today um, for this All Worship Chapel um, is worshiping in truth um, and having true worship. So it's kind of going to correlate with each song. So this first song, um, the definite, I define true worship is a declaration of faith with a God confidence. Um, so it's not, it's, it's a God confidence is different from self-confidence um, because in this bridge we're going to sing that we know that a breakthrough is coming. And it's not because we have a self-confidence. It's because we have a confidence um, that God will make a breakthrough. And so we sing that this morning with a God confidence. that I define 
is that true worship is honest. I remember a while back, um, it was, it was at one of the breakaways that T.A. was talking about. He was talking about worship, um, and he defined it as honest. And one of the things that he said was um, that we should be careful about saying things to God that we don't um, mean. And what he meant by that, he, he didn't mean to, you know, he didn't mean by taking the Lord's name in vain. I mean, of course we shouldn't take the, the name of the Lord in vain. Um, but he didn't mean that. He meant simply singing songs and declaring his truth. Um, he said we need to be careful about that if we don't know, actually believe what we're saying. So this next song, Follow You Anywhere, we, we sing that we do follow him anywhere. And so if, if you're not in that place right now where you, where you believe and you can truly declare that you will follow him, then you just need to take this next time to pray over yourself. Pray that God would move in you and that that he would give you a heart where you could truly follow him anywhere. So let's sing this out.
True worship ascribes worth to God and not man. We come here to chapel not to see our friends, not to hang out, not to talk, not to listen to a praise band. We come to chapel to meet with God and we ascribe our worth to God, not to others. So we sing this song, we praise his name, praise his name and his name alone. definition that I define as true worship is that true worship is direct and intimate. 
as I was saying before, is, is that, that we ascribe worth to God, not man. But also true worship shouldn't be about our surroundings. It should be a direct and intimate relationship and prayer to God, giving him thanks, giving him all worth and all glory. So this next song we sing talks about we apologize for coming with our agenda. And I think that it should be our hearts this morning is that that we that we do say we're sorry to God when we when we come to worship and it's not for him. So I ask that you would you would just prepare your hearts right now. Go in prayer. Ask God to be with you in this moment.
True worship is a response. I feel like it's, it's so important to know that, that it's not us just down here on earth. We're saying, hey God, listen to us. Listen to us, we're here. I don't know if you're listening, but we're here. That's, that's not what this is. It's a response. God came down, he sent his son to die for us so that we might live with him and that we can have the joy of knowing that we, after, after we die, that we would go to heaven and we would live with him forever. So that's response. We respond to him. We give him thanks for that. We say, let's be more like Jesus. Let's be more like him. We sing that.
this over here. It's, it's kind of long. The last thing that I would say that true worship is, is true worship is an all in experience, surrendering and giving God all praise, glory, and honor for what he has done and will continue to do in us. That's what it is. Praise, thanksgiving. God has done so much good in our lives, and we have to thank him for that. So we sing this song of praise. We declare that he is resurrected and that he is risen indeed.
much for this time together, and thank you that we have an opportunity like this to gather and have an all-worship chapel, um, and I just pray that as we go throughout our day, we really think about what it means to truly worship you and to have all of the things that Ty listed, God, that, you know, some of those things that maybe stick out to us are things that we need to work on or focus on or something like that, God. I just pray that after this day, our relationship is renewed with you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you.